Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Solvet. I'm here with another video. I'm really excited about this video because I was pretty hesitant on purchasing these products because they are quite expensive. Jizu is a brand that I actually found on Instagram. I was really intrigued just because the packaging is super aesthetically pleasing, but I didn't know if it was going to, if the aesthetics were gonna match up with the actual, the actual use of the product. And so I wanted to ch test it out and give you all my honest opinion. I have been using these for about a month on my hair, and if you're interested in seeing how I like them, keep watching. Okay, so. First of all, the packaging is incredible. They put so much detail into the packaging. I actually only kept one box just because I was like, this box is really beautiful. I just want it on my desk. So this is the box that the hair oil came in. It looks super cute, like a little book. And then it opens up like this. And it actually does have a booklet if I can get it out and then this is where the hair oil was I just kept the box because I thought it was really really pretty and it just looks pretty on my vanity and then the little book inside it says Jizu I hope I'm pronouncing it right and it talks all about the hair oil it has just different pictures inside it talks about the beekeeping because they do use honey for their products which is pretty cool but there's just some cool pictures in in the booklet and I thought it was just a cool detail it talks about the signature ingredient that's in the oil in depth more photo shoot and then it does talk about the hair oil super super in depth and the different ingredients that are inside of the oil and their benefits for your hair if you're one of those people who just is really intrigued by all that and you want to know the origin of everything it's nice that this comes with i did get the um, heat spray as well as the primer and they were packaged in just like normal boxes i did get the hair mask though and that was packaged in a really really cute box so the presentation when you do receive the products it does give you that high-end feel and i just like how they packaged everything super cute because i do love packaging earlier i said i bought three products but i actually bought four products and it cost about 200 dollars and let's just start, I guess, in the order. I'm gonna start with the hair mask. So before I purchased this hair mask, I was using the Amika hair mask. I do like to use a hair mask on my hair once a week just because I have pretty thick hair and my hair is coarse and frizzy and unless I'm straightening it like so, it does look kind of damaged even though it's not even damaged also if you didn't notice i cut about seven inches off my hair so my hair is short now yeah so i got this hair mask and i love it first of all it smells divine it has just this really 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 beautiful smell i like that a little goes a long way i've used this about four times and you can see i haven't even made a dent into the packaging and I love that it's glass. It just looks cute in the shower. It's a great, great product. And I do find when I when I use this product, my hair is extremely soft after and super, super hydrated and definitely less frizzy. So I would for sure recommend the mask. It is a little pricey for a hair mask, but, and I, I need to clean this sorry I should have cleaned it before the video but yeah it's pretty expensive for a hair mask but it's definitely worth the money I love it I love it next let's go to the primer so this is the Jizu propolis I don't know if I'm saying that right propolis infused polishing primer uh, it says prep me prime me define me so I've been using this each time I wash my hair right when I'm out of the shower my hair I've towel dried it and brushed it and then I'll go ahead and put this primer in as far as a I guess it's supposed to be like a type of leave-in conditioner type thing or primer for your hair before styling or letting it air dry 
I haven't really noticed a major difference using this each time I shower. I honestly haven't, so I don't know what else to really say. I don't really know if I would repurchase the primer. I love how it smells. It does make my hair feel good, but as far as other leave-ins that I've tried, I don't think this is much different. That's just my opinion. I do like how it's free from sulfates, silicones, and it is cruelty free, so that's nice. But I don't know if I would really repurchase this, especially for the price. I think I could find something similar for a little bit cheaper, but I do really like the product. It's just not like, it doesn't have that wow factor that the mask had for me. Next is going to be the heat spray. I bought this because I do straighten my hair a lot. And even if I'm not straightening my hair, I do go out in the sun. It protects your hair from heat damage caused by blow dry drying, styling tools, and the sun. So I really, really like this. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it has this kind of fishy smell after I spray it. Like if I, if I spray it in my hair and then I immediately go to like zhuzh it in, it has like this fishy after smell. And I don't know if it's supposed to have that, but it has that for me. And I don't like that smell. Like I like how it protects up to almost 450 degrees Fahrenheit and it has the UV to help with the sun. But I don't know. I don't know if there's some like type of fish oil or like something inside. It just smells a little fishy. And if you know me, I hate seafood. I know I'm weird, don't come at me. But so this smell after it like settles in, it's just like, I don't like it. But it has protected my hair for sure. I still use it. I just, I will spray it in my hair and I don't immediately touch my hair. I'll let it kind of sit before I move it because if I move it around, right when I spray it, it has that odor that I just don't like. The final product that I purchased is the one that everyone has and everyone wants to know if it's actually really good and that is the hair oil this is the hair oil it's beautiful the packaging is really nice and sleek you got it in this glass bottle very simple it says it's a honey infused hair oil it has a little dropper that you can use and it's just a really pretty packaging. My thoughts. So I've been using this pretty much every day whether or not I wash my hair because I usually am trying to just hydrate my hair as much as possible since I do have more coarse dry hair. And I actually really, really like this. And I like this because you can Put it in every day even if you're not washing your hair for like five days and your hair doesn't get oily it's just hydrated like your hair just eats the oil up and i actually really really like it now it's mad expensive i want to say this oil was like a hundred dollars let me see it's 3.4 ounces and it is 87 dollars so almost $90 for this 3.4 ounce hair oil. That's quite a lot for a hair styling product if I do say so myself. I have never, I mean I bought some Shuamura stuff when I dyed my hair blonde years ago but besides that I have never spent that much money on one product in my life and even the Shuamura one I think was like 70 and it was a mask. So it's a commitment. They do have a 1.7 ounce though, and that one is 46, so it's a little bit more affordable. This hair oil lasts a really long time. As I said, I've been using it for a month every day, and you can see it's barely even made a dent, so I do think this is gonna last me at least seven to eight months, maybe even a year, so that's good, but it's still definitely a commitment. Like. That's a lot of money. $90 is like nine burritos. So it's like, think about that, nine meals versus one hair oil. Just something to think about. I would honestly repurchase this. I think it's worth 
the hair oil is worth nine burritos. It's really, really good. And it smells really nice. It doesn't have like an overpowering smell. Everyone was kind of going off about how this it smells so good and all this stuff. I really don't notice that it smells like it doesn't make my hair smell really good i don't know if it's because i'm i'm not like putting enough or what but i do really really like it and i definitely would repurchase as i said it's a commitment but they do take pride in their packaging as you can see it's a nice expensive product and it it definitely shows and i really like it so overall, I have been using these four products almost every day, at least the heat spray, the oil, and the primer I use pretty much every day. The Well, the primer whenever I wash my hair, but you get the gist. I'm using them. They're, they're a part of my routine. I've made sure to not use any other styling products so I could really get give you a fair review now i do feel like my hair is healthier that being said around the same time that i started using these products i did chop seven to eight inches off my hair so my hair could just be healthier because it's nice and short or it also could be healthier because of these products either way i like how these products make my hair look they're easy to style with i did straighten my hair today and it makes it my hair just feel really soft and look shiny and healthy and that's what I really like about these products. I definitely think I would repurchase the hair oil and the hair mask. The primer and the spray are good but they didn't really knock my socks off and honestly the, the heat spray if it has that fishy odor i just can't do it I, I just don't like the smell of fish so i would not repurchase that for sure and the primer it was just like it's good but it wasn't like oh my god this is an amazing product so i don't think i would repurchase that again honestly because i do feel like let me see let me just give you before i close out let me give you kind of the price of everything so i got the prep and prime pack which it was $67, you save $8, and it came with the spray and the primer. The Double Honey Duo, which was $135, you save $14, and that was for the mask and the oil. And then by itself, like I said, the oil was $87, the mask is $62, the heat protecting spray by itself is 41 that's quite a lot even looking at that price right now i automatically can tell you i'm definitely not repurchasing that and then the primer is 34 i did pay for them again i paid for these on my own i spent a little over 200 dollars for everything and that is my opinion on them so that kind of concludes this video i hope you liked it i'm definitely going to try to be more active on youtube i have been slacking majorly i think it's just been going back to work and just being exhausted i could say all the excuses i want but there's no excuse i really could make more time for this it's something that i really love doing and I want to devote more time to it so I will be trying to be more consistent hopefully uploading at least once every two weeks if not every week I'm gonna try my best if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below I really appreciate you all for getting me to 500 subscribers I am so happy we're halfway there to where I can monetize my videos which will be a big milestone for me. So yeah, I think that concludes this video and I hope I will see you next time. I hope you're staying safe and wearing your mask, washing your hands, continuing to fight for black lives and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.